Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we learned how to draw a histogram for an ungrouped data. In this video, we are going to apply what we learned in the previous video to solve a question. The question for this video is, the table below shows the marks obtained by students in a test. Draw a histogram to represent the data. So we have the different marks here and their corresponding frequencies. We are going to draw a histogram to represent this data. Let's start. We have the graph sheet here and this is the table containing the data. From the previous video, we learned that when we are drawing a histogram for an ungrouped data, the marks will be on the horizontal axis just as we have here and the frequencies on the vertical axis. The max starts at 15 and ends at 65 and the difference between them is 10. So we have 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. Because the max starts at 15 in the table, we are going to start the numbering from 15. So I have to bring this sign here to indicate that I have broken the part of the scale before 15 off, just as I explained in the previous video. We will have to choose a scale for our vertical axis. Looking at the values we have in the table, I will choose a scale of 2 cm to 2 units. So we will use that scale to number the vertical axis. So we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and it continues up to 24. From the table, we have six different marks. So it means that we are going to have six different bars. We will have to choose the width of the bars. Remember that from the previous video, we learned that for an ungrouped data, the width of the bars will be equal. So all the bars will have the same width. Looking at the number of bars we have and the graph sheet I have here, I will make each bar occupy 10 minor divisions or 10 small boxes. So each of them will occupy 10 small boxes or 10 minor divisions. Let's start with the first one, which will be for 15. The frequency is at 6. So the first bar will occupy 10 minor divisions and the height will be at 6. From the previous video, we learned that the mark for a bar will be at the center of the bar. Here, the bar occupies 10 minor divisions, so the center will be at the fifth division. So the mark, which is 15, will be at the fifth division. Let's move on to the next bar, which will be for 25. The frequency is at 12. Remember that on a histogram, there are no spaces between the bars. So the bar for 25 will be drawn attached to the bar for 15. The mark which is 25 will be at the center. The center will be at the fifth division. So 25 will be at the fifth division. We move on to the next one which is the bar for 35. The frequency is 18. So this will be the bar for 35. The height is at 18 and the mark will be at the center. So 35 will be at the fifth division. The next one is 45. The frequency is 20. So this is the bar for 45. The frequency is 20. So the height of the bar is at 20. And the mark which is 45 will be at the center of the bar. So that will be at the fifth division. The next one is 55. The height or the frequency is at 15. The frequency is at 15. So we have the bar for 55, the frequency is at 15. 15 is between 14 and 16 on the frequency axis. So the height of the bar will be at 15. And the mark, which is 55, will be at the center of the bar. So it will be on the fifth division since the bar occupies 10 minor divisions. And the last one is 65 the frequency is 9 
so this is the bar for 65 the frequency is 9 9 is between 8 and 10 on the frequency axis the mark which is 65 will be at the center so 65 will be on the fifth division since the bar occupies 10 minor divisions after this you can add a little design to it for it to look nice just as i have done here you will have to choose a title for a histogram you will get the title from the question from the question we were told that the data represents the max scored by some students in a test so my title will be a histogram showing the mass obtained by some students in a test so we have been able to draw a histogram for the data that was given to us thank you for watching this video subscribe to this channel for more videos in the next video we are going to learn how to draw a histogram for an ungrouped data Bye-bye.